Scorpio, don't hurt him, boo. What's going on, baby? Yes. What's going on? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time for the month of July to let you know how we going to be fly all up and through this bitch. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, honey. Let me say thank you to everyone who has clicked this video. Shout out to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed at any point in time. If my videos have given you any type of inspiration, any type of guidance, Thank you guys so much for the support. You guys have just did the damn thing. And y'all done just bought forth all these new decks here. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to everyone for the support. I just want to just like pour out love right now. Because you guys like amazed me. Amazed me. Just like, I don't know. Just like, I thank y'all so much. I just want to acknowledge um, everyone, like I said, who's clicked this video. Because that's love. And I appreciate it. Um, just want to do some new deck announcements. We got the hip hop deck here. We got the playing card deck, the East versus West rap quote deck. You guys, I know y'all done seen goddamn Gangsta Ass Alice. Y'all done seen Gangsta Ass Alice. This deck that done came through. Y'all done seen this one. We're going to be using this deck today. We got the music genius deck. Y'all should have seen me use these by now. But we're not using these today. We will be using the Under the Rose Lenormand deck. We will be using that as well as the Oracle of Visions deck. So, shout out to everyone who has been sending forth love and support. Have it be the Amazon wish list. Have it be the um, uh, PayPal. Uh, just shout out to everyone. So, I just wanted to announce the new decks that we got. The new flavor we're going to have on the table here. And just want to say shout out to everyone Who's been liking, sharing, subscribing. Who's been booking personal readings. And who's been sending support through Amazon and PayPal. So shout out to all of you guys. If these videos have been resonating. And if you want to give some support to Scorpion Reds Tarot. Um, all of the information for my booking. Everything is in the About tab on my YouTube page. If you want to book with me. Only thing you need to do is click that About tab. You will see a hyperlink that says Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me. Go ahead and select the type of reading that you want. Book and then link up with me. Um, you'll see my Instagram link directly under my booking link. After you book, go ahead and send me a message. Say, hey, Reds, this is so-and-so and so-and-so. I booked on this day. Listen, I have to fix my calendar, you guys. Typically, the day that you book with me, either that day or the next day, I could probably, not, I can't probably, I will try to contact you to see if you want to do your booking earlier. I have to uh, fix my calendar. So, even if my booking says it's out a little bit, just book the next available. When I contact you, nine times out of ten, you're going to get your reading right then and there. So, um... And y'all just, I, I, I'll fix, I'll adjust my calendar accordingly. But anyway, so y'all book and y'all connect with me on Instagram. Send me a message. If you don't have Instagram, you can use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. And send me a message on Google Hangouts. It's an easy app to download. Only thing you need is my email again, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. If you don't want to get on a video chat, a live video chat with me, or if you want a recap of your reading, I can record the whole session and upload a private video to YouTube so you can go back and watch it at your leisure um there is an add-on in the menu when you're purchasing your reading it says um video recap slash direct uh upload and what you need to do if you don't want to get on camera once you book your reading and you send me your message um communicating with me saying hey it's me basically just say hey i don't want to get on camera but here's my question and when you send me your question, make sure that you only tell me what you want to know. Don't tell me the situation is somewhere on the why you're asking that question. Because I don't want you to say, oh, well, I just told you that. Okay? So, uh, let me think. Yeah, like I said, Amazon and the pay uh, PayPal information, all of the other links. If you want to link up with me, <clears throat> my email, everything is all in the About tab. All right? So, thank you guys again for the love and support. Let's get into the reading. All right, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Scorpio. Father God, it is hot outside. It is sizzling, Father God. <laughs> it is hot. It is sizzling, Father God. And, you know, I don't know. I just heard in my head 
some people out there looking kind of tasty. I don't know. Like someone is feeling like people out there looking tasty. I know the way it ain't me. I ain't seen one looking that tasty yet. But someone said there's somebody out there looking tasty. Father God. Well, shit, I know I'm out here looking tasty. Come on, I'm out here looking like a whole tender bed on y'all's God. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah. Anyway, Father God, listen, let us be in our glory today, Father. You know we be acting bad sometimes. You know we like to act up. You know we like to act up, Father. Cool, Father. Listen, we happy, Father, and I'm happy that we're happy. I'm happy that we're having fun, that we're experiencing joy. We have a lot of kindness and hope and love in our heart i you know i've been seeing a lot of people um bringing in new love here recently and i don't know about nobody else but i know for me i'm a scorpio and y'all are a scorpio we understand death and rebirth we understand transitionings that's what we are that's what we do so to see so much to know that so much has came down to be built back up and for us to see if it's not reflected in our life by new communication of new love and, and, and new jobs and uh, 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 new houses, new cars, just new, new, new. If we're not seeing it directly ourselves, we're seeing it around us just repeatedly. This friend that got in a new relationship, this one just opened a new business, this one just did this, this one just did that. And it's just, we know we're next. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's making us excited. We are happy. We are experiencing the joy. We are ex we excited and happy for our friends. Because one thing about Scorpios, we ain't no hater. They be trying to say we envious and jealous. No, we only act like that if someone do something to piss us off to make us feel some type of way. We are not no haters. One thing about Scorpios, we rejoice and we celebrate our friends' success. And when the people around us is going up. Because we want them to do the same thing for us when we going up. Because God damn it, we going up. <laughs> Nothing could stop us. We on the way up. I already told y'all we made it. Listen. So, Father God, thank you so much for this celebration around us, this happiness, this joy, this fun, this kindness, this open heart. You know, I feel like our heart is open, like the fire is burning, like the wheels are turning in our brain, and we are thinking longer, harder. We just know, number one, that we're destined for greatness in our future because we are on a path. Because I told you, you could we make it. We on our path. But we up next. And Father God, thank you. And we just patiently waiting. And we just sitting here enjoying our time around good company. You know? And sometimes if you want success in your life, you got to surround yourself around abundance and success. You got to surround yourself around people that have the same ambitions and goals as you are. And I'm trying to tell you to change your life. Scorpio, please give, Father God, please give guidance to my Scorpios. Please continue to bless us abundantly and allow us to grow and spread our wings, Father God. Listen, like the phoenix, we, we we will rise, okay? Anyway, give us guidance for July for my Scorpios. Thank you again for all the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future, Father God. Please give us guidance for my Scorpios. Thank you. Again, give me day-to-day -day guidance for my Scorpios. Listen, you hear that in the back? You got it, girl. You got it, girl. Hey. You got it, girl. You got it, girl. Look, you better know that you worth it. You got it. Hey. Come on, Chris. Come on. What is this right here? Ooh, cleanse and detox. Cleanse and detox. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, why they saying that? It says, with great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress, as well as to ease any sorrows and shedding your old ways. Give us your cares, your worries, and concerns to us. And feel the beautiful grace in your newly purified body. Now listen, when I seen this, I already knew that this had something to do with me. Because let me explain to you guys. I don't know why I don't want meat anymore. I don't know why my body is just changing. And I've been having a struggle eating in the morning. Because I'm so used to getting like a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. Or just something like that. And it's like... I'm so used to eating the way I've been 
eating and, the, and, and I've just been so used to just being me. You know what I'm saying? But my body is changing and I don't, my body doesn't want that anymore. Like mentally, I would go and buy it. Like this is how sick I am. Cause I'm, <laughs> it's like, I'll buy the food just to look at it, but I'll just get like a fruit salad or like some oatmeal or something. Like I'll get me a bacon egg and cheese sandwich just to look at it. Cause but I know somebody else will eat it like my father or my, you know what I'm saying? I know somebody else will get it. And I'll even like get close to take a bite of it. And as soon as I get to it, my stomach will be like, uh-uh, I don't want that no more. Like my body just don't want that no more. Like my body is doing like a self cleanse that don't have nothing to do with my mind because my brain is still telling me you should want that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. That's just a little spiel with my personal thing why I feel like for me that resonated with me. You know what I'm saying? But maybe you got, I feel like, you know, we just need to go more green, more green, purify. I feel like, um, like what the spiritual cleansing level, just like emotionally detox and cleanse, purge any old stuff in our house. Um, maybe some of us need to cut back on the drinking, a little smoking a little bit, let our brains, like, you know what I'm saying? Breathe a little bit. Amen. You know, so, you know, drink a little bit more water, you know, a little more fruits more fruits more vegetables you know eating more beans eating more nuts finding different forms of protein you know eating more salads just right eating and treating your body right a little bit you know what i'm saying i'm not saying like you can't have whatever you want to have but spirit is wanting us to cleanse a little bit and like i don't know because it might just be this pre-retrograde shit oh judgment judgment let's see what's going on here what's this judgment about give us guidance father give us guidance for my scorpios in july give me guidance for my scorpios for july Ooh, ooh, ooh! the king of wands judgment oh someone's coming back asking for forgiveness resurrection rebirth Five of Swords, yeah. Want to come back and try to... That Five of Swords in reverse, that's someone that's trying to come back and find like a type of resolution and trying to... Trying to mend a conflict, you know? And then the Six of Swords. Five of Swords to the Six of Swords. Still movement. Still forward movement away from this situation. It doesn't seem like... I don't feel like there's going to be no resurrection. Give me guidance. Ooh. Okay. Wait a minute. We got the Two of Cups. And then we got the Emperors here. I'm like, her, her, her breasts are leaking milk. Ooh, Lord. See her brush got milk coming out of titties and shit? Lord. So, what it looks like here, there's judgment being casted. There's someone that wants some type of balance, wants a chance to, like, right or wrong, if you will. It's the king of wands here. It's just someone that's very attractive, very athletic, got a very nice body, very nice um, everything else. <laughs> very good looking. Um, this is someone that is like a go-getter, very action oriented. Like, when they put their mind on something, like, they gonna go get it, and they not gonna stop until they get it. This is someone that you might feel like is a little pushy, but you like the way they push, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> like, yeah. This is someone that most definitely something was done in the past where this Aries, this, uh, well, I was about to say Capricorn, but it ain't no damn Capricorn. 
I don't know. Maybe y'all might have been dealing with a damn Capricorn too. And is this child embryos down here? This is child embryos. There's two child embryos down here. Coming off of this wand. Do y'all see this? Mmm. I feel like, ooh, see, I just, I don't want to say that shit. I don't want to say that shit. But I do feel like it, it, it has something to do with some childbirths. And like I told you, her titties is leaking. Some, it's like they, they coming back. They're coming back wanting resurrection and forgiveness. Wanting to find balance. Wanting to right or wrong about a situation and wanting to at least have some communication and just try to discuss and see if y'all could come to a level of compromise here. Um, this is someone like throwing down their swords and realizing like this is not a battle worth fighting anymore. Let's just try to communicate and just try to mend. You know, this is someone is trying to like not fight no more and not fighting anymore. Um... Looks like this person is moving. It's moving forward to the person that they love. But it looks like, I mean, and everyone seems to have this goddamn card. Everyone is in transit. Everyone is moving. Like, literally, I think every single reading that I've damn near had. And then here's this baby. Up here go this embryo again. Here go this embryo again. And here go the empress. It's either someone wants to move to impregnate. This a it's a lot of fucking children. There's listen. There's two embryos here. There's an embryo right here on the six of, on the six of um swords. You understand? It's the two of cups right here. This is soulmate. And then here we go with the empress with her damn titties <laughs> milking. And then we got two embryos right here on the sides. Like it's like. I, like I can't, I can't. Like I mean, I mean, somebody is. It's like I feel like someone is either moving to impregnate somebody, or ever they're coming back to apologize. What in judgment? What in violence? Wanting to fix some communication about an empress or the children or just something let's let's find out let's let's find out what the fuck is going on this is like hella fucking am i tripping y'all am i tripping am i fucking tripping the two the two little baby twins down there right this one not no but this is just like a lot of conflict competition battle gossip rumors slander like it was a, like a lot of bullshit that happened with this person in the past. It was like a lose-lose either for the Scorpio or for whoever this person is. And someone moved away they're, and they go an embryo. They either moved away because of an embryo or they either moved away and created an embryo. And this person is in love. And they go to the Empress with the two, with the two embryo twins on the side again. So we gonna find out what the fuck is because I'm confused. I'm like, what? Bitch, what? But honestly, I, I really do feel like like this king of bonds. I feel like this person is mature. I feel like this person is mature and they wanna come back and they wanna sever ties with something. Cause they're severing ties, cause this King of Wands wants to stop fighting. Wants to stop this this wants to stop this drama and I feel like with the swords in reverse cause like in the five of swords in the upright that represents lies, deceit like treachery, betrayal I feel like this person wants to offer some truths with the judgment balance, this person wants to offer truths maybe why they left, you know what I'm saying maybe express the love that they have and Tell you how beautiful that they think you are and that they want to have children with you, you know. So, let's see. 
Let's see, but it's a lot of goddamn babies on this goddamn table. It's a, it's a lot of goddamn babies, man. I don't know. Y'all might need to watch the fuck out, Scorpio. And I listen, I'm gonna have to wrap this shit on up. Cause listen, hold on. What well, uh, uh Medea say? Clink, 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 clink. Hold on, clink the fuck, clink. Cause goddamn, Sam. God, how many motherfucking embryos on here is shit. And it's two cars with two babies, so this sound like somebody about to have some twins or something. Like, God damn. Like, shit, if you gonna have a baby or have one, motherfucker, don't be having two. <laughs> Fuck you, me. <laughs> Fuck you, me. <laughs> that one right there is the center is the only one with just one baby. This one and this one both have, like, twins on the luck. Nigga, come the fuck on with that shit, bro. Belonging to your own dream. Create your own life. Okay. Hmm. Whew. I'm sorry. I need me some deeper. I need some. I need me some clarification on that. I need me some deeper clarification on that. Cause uh uh. Give me guidance about. Cause we gonna have to dig deeper into this. Like right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. Father God, please give me guidance. Who is seeking judgment and moving on towards a love with the Empress? Like, what's going on? Give me guidance. Expectations. And I feel like it's someone that you've been expecting, Scorpio. It's going to result in some type of gift. Gifts of concerns. Hmm. Clarify this. Oh, just child. <laughs> Can we get away from the babies? Can we get away from the babies, y'all? Because I don't want no babies. Do y'all want babies? Do y'all want babies? Are y'all pregnant? Are y'all expecting the babies? Okay. Expectation a gift. And there's some concerns about babies. Ooh, honey bunny bumpkin pies. I wonder why. No, what? Uh -uh. No, it says belong to your own dream. Uh -uh. I will. Who? Y'all over there manifesting babies? Who manifested some babies? Who? Who ended? Harpo. No, Slimmy. What is this saying here? It says belong to your own dream. Finding you have been following a plan and a path that is not truly your own. Deciding to take steps to live in a way that is authentic and truly your own. Rebelling, wishing to live in your own world, no longer making decisions, staying with people or in jobs that are not a part of your dreams. Not being directed or governed by the desires of dreams of others. Desiring, um, deciding to make some big changes towards following the path that is your soul's true dream. And for its evolution for a lifetime. I'm fucking with that. But Scorpio, I swear to God, this is not you up here. This is not, this, this not Scorpio. Like, this is... I, I feel like Scorpio is sitting here in the middle of this shit belonging to their own dream. Because I'm serious, y'all. Like, this got me fucked over right now. Like, I'm this got me majorly fucked over right now in a major way. Spirit is trying to tell us to cleanse and detoxify. And you guys notice it's retrograde. There's someone coming back asking for forgiveness, resurrection, and judgment. Wanting to clarify and rectify a situation. Wanting to have clear communication, offer some type of truth and balance in a situation. Wanting to explain possibly why they left. Why they left and fell in love with the Empress. And here you are belonging to your own dream, into your own world. Because you've cleansed and detoxified. Right? You're in your own. You're in your own world. 
But here, this person is sitting here with expectations of sending you a gift. But they have concerns about these damn children. Let's get the fuck on in here. Let's get the fuck on. Give me guidance about this King of Wands and this Five of Swords and this Judgment, please. Because we're going to have to break this down just any because I need to figure out what's going on. Because I'm trying to... I got to figure this out. You better late blow, bitch. We're not doing that. I'm not doing that right now. We're not. Because I, I know that you want... Mm -mm. We're not talking like that. <sighs> and I just got a big jolt in my stomach saying I should have put that back. I'm sorry. Spirit, please. Give me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I'm really sorry. <laughs> give me guidance. Give me guidance. They just said, I'm trying to. You just put it back. <laughs> give me guidance, Spirit. Give me guidance. Tell me what's going on with this judgment, this King of Wands, and the Five of Swords, the expectation, and the gift. Oh, I feel this in the pit in my belly. This is about to get juicy like Lucy, honey. This is about to get juicy like Lucy. The king of swords in the reverse and the temperance. Hmm. The four of swords. seems like this person you know this person is being a liar you know this person is being a deceiver a manipulator you know this person is a bachelor this person just kind of does what they want to do and live by their own set of rules do you feel what I'm saying this is what you know this person to be but it looks like this person had some moment of reflection and this temperance here this person has um i feel like they they have gone through some cleansing and detoxifying i feel like they came to a crossroads in their life where they had to decide do i want to go this way or do i want to go that way do i want to keep doing the same shit i was doing to keep getting the same results or do i want to elevate you know because, you know, one side of the mushroom makes you get taller, one makes you get smaller. You know? And this person is well aware that the Scorpio looks at them like this or that you look at the Scorpio like this. Do you understand what I'm saying? A liar, a cheater, a deceiver, a manipulator, a user, an abuser. You know? Someone that doesn't have any loyalty to anyone and lives by their own law. And this person had to sit back and decide what side of the fence that they were going to be on. And it looks like they went on the side of faith. They went on the side of hope. They went on the side of balance. They went on the side of faith. Okay? They had to make a balanced decision about what they wanted to be and who they want the world to look at them as. Do you understand? So this is the four swords right here. This person has been in solitude. This person has been like resting and hibernating and doing a lot of thinking and a lot of self-reflection and um, going through their own kind of self soul, soul journey um, but this person has been resting this person has been healing this person has been trying to grow give me more information about this king yeah the eight of wands this person is definitely going to be sending you a lot of communication if you haven't received it you will be getting it in July give me more guidance yeah, the Page of Swords. They're coming to send you some communication. They want, they want to expose the truth. They want you to hear them out. They want to expose the truth. They have been looking for you. They've been trying to express reality. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like They want to explain to you the reality of some things. What do we got? We got the page of cup here in reverse. It looks like the knight of swords. Like they, they've been, <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be some rapid communication. And I mean, when it comes, when this person finds you, like this person has been looking for you, 
And this person wants to communicate with you. And they want, and it, when it comes, it's going to come strong. And it's going to be like, but but this and this and that and da 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 da. da, 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 da like it's going to be, this person going to be communicating with you. Because they want to know what's going on with you. And they want to tell you what's going on with them. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, we got to stop from ground zero. You know what I'm saying? Like, but first we going to have to, we can't go forward until we cleanse and detoxify all of that shit from the past. Because that shit is going to taint anything that we try to do. And right now I'm trying to belong to my own dream in this situation. And I'm trying to apologize and resurrect and bring violence to the situation. I'm a man now with this, you know, this king of wands. I'm action oriented. Like I'm serious about this. I want to resolve this shit. I've left a love with an imp I, I don't that's see that's the part I don't get. That's the part that I don't get. Let me finish reading this right here. But it looks like there's been some communication that it stopped in a love situation. And this person wants to know why. This person wants to know why. This person felt cut out. This person felt slighted. This person felt deceived. Like... This person almost feel kind of bullied a little bit with this five of swords. It's like, kind of like they were left no choice but to mentally deal with the fact that you stopped communicating with them, you know. And yeah, and you ended it. The death, and you ended it. And Scorpio, kind of, that's what Scorpios do. Like, what the fuck you thought Scorpios was going to do? Yeah, this person is coming at you like serious. Like, you just stop communicating with me. You just stop expressing your love. Like, what the fuck was that about? Like, you just, you just snuck off like a thief in the night or some shit like that. Like, you just, they feel deceived. They felt like it was going to be like, well, I'm, I'm saying eternal love. Um, what it was like an eternal flame that was like never going to die out they thought that this like they, I don't know for some reason they thought that you would never leave them or something that you would never you would never do that to them and that was like a betrayal they thought that you would love them forever that it was like unconditional love and they realized that it was conditional and they know that they were like that they know that they you look at them as this liar and everything and they had to grow up and they had to heal from things that was done on both sides. And it's like now they want to communicate. They want to communicate now. They want to know the truth. And they want to know the truth now. Why you just cut them off like that? Like, was it that serious? Like, what they did was, was it that serious that y'all couldn't work it out? You know what I'm saying? That, it, that you really felt like it couldn't have been worked out. That you would just end it with them like that. Like that's how this person is going to come at you. It's like. They want to know like. Was like. they Yeah. Give me guidance over here. About the concerns about this child. This. Six of swords. These lovers. And this empress. That's what the fuck I want to know about. <laughs> Clean to detoxify. To clarify for me, the six of swords. The lovers, the empress, and his concerns in this child here. Okay? Give me guidance, spirit. Please give me guidance. Give me guidance. What is that? The Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups. The Eight of Swords. So, this was a situation where there was a commitment, but it looks like there was a divorce. There was a divorce due to just like 
emotional unfulfillment i feel like there was a lot of stress there was a lot of drinking a lot of substance abuse this person felt like they were in a prison unfair card that was being dealt like you know it was gambling it was a gamble you know what i'm saying like they they didn't play their cards right yeah and it was like a lot of conflict it was a, like a lot of drama it was a lot of drama it's a lot of drama clarify this six is four it's a lot of drama ten of cups three of cups this ten of cups is like I feel like their soulmate is is something where they they want to it's like they they want to reunite with somebody they want to celebrate and they want to reunite but the three of cups I don't mean so they left and found love with the empress right that's what they want to face judgment about that's what they want to communicate with you about and try to find a resolution and show you their growth here they want to know why you just left because it's like they felt like you left me with no choice like you didn't leave me with no choice. Like you just blew it. Like you just, you just deaded me. Like you just deaded me. You deaded me. You deaded me. And you went in somewhere else and you cleansed and detoxified me out of your life. And you went and belonged to your own dream. And I didn't have any choice but to move forward and find love elsewhere, which resulted in a child. But it doesn't seem like that love, that commitment there, it doesn't seem like it worked it didn't work it didn't work it looks like there's been a divorce there there's been a you know a breakdown of assets where you know people are separating houses due to emotional unfulfillment there was a lot of stress there was a lot of anxiety as you can see there was a situation where they felt like they were in a mental prison and not only that there was a lot of conflict and there was a lot of fights and competition and, and you know there was a lot of drama again being dealing dealing with the cards that was dealt to them it was like they were being faced with a lot of accusations and being accused of a lot of things um it was a lot of fights for some reason and it looks like their ten of cups here is with someone that they want to go back and celebrate and reunite with but this person with this nine of pentacles here has some finance concerns something that hit them unexpected with this tower the sun that could represent a birth of a child The four of pentacles and having to hold on to their money due to them being like the knight of wands. It seems like in order for them to find that full true soulmate, that ten of cups, it's like they might have to go back. They might have to go back to something where they're having to reunite, where they want to celebrate, where they want to rejoice, and they want to mm-mm. Let's see what I'm saying. Over here, it was the ten of pentacles in reverse. A dissolvement of a relationship and of a marriage where there was a solid commitment and there was no emotional fulfillment there right here there's full emotional fulfillment this is someone that they consider their soulmate right this is someone that 
they have a lot of fun with. This is someone that they celebrate and that they want to rejoice when they reunite with this person. It's just that they have finance concerns. Something happened to them that was unexpected. That was a tower moment. Something that they did not see coming that affected their finances. And that might have impacted their ability to move forward to you. But at the same time, it's like there's a lot of sunshine there. There's a lot of... And then there's somebody... And then it seems... I feel like there's... I feel like regardless, there are going to be three people in this situation. Because like... This girl, like these, these two girls are always in these, in these cards. Like it doesn't matter. Like these two girls is always in these cards. So I feel like they might be holding on to the fact that they have to like financially take care of of responsibility with this with this with you know with the situation with this child and I feel like that's the concerns that's the concerns and it's like you know they want to be here but they know at the same time that they still have to deal with this conflict and they're still in prison they're still in prison you know what I'm saying it's like they're not, it's like they can't get out of this situation. It's like, it's still like an obligation to the situation where there's no emotional fulfillment. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is going to be an ongoing battle with this person. So, that's the concern. Like, they're holding back on this fact that their money is going to be tight. You know what I'm saying? So, they're going to have to, like, really save and really hold on to every, you know what I'm saying? That they're penny pinching because... They're going to have to be in and out with you because there's still obligations other places. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's just the, like, that's the thing that they ain't see that coming. Like for real, for real. I just, I don't know. I feel like they didn't see that shit coming. They didn't see that shit coming. I don't know. You guys. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. Spirit, give me give me more guidance. Oh, Lord. And then here we about to go here. Now, these cards scared, Lord Jesus. I'm fucking scared. Jesus. No, but real quick, before we do that, give me one card for belong to your own dream. Create your own life. Give me a card for Scorpio with this belong to your own dream, please. Because, like, this is the energy of someone. Because I feel like, because even with the last reading I just did with um, Libra, it was like Spirit is warning us of these things that are going to be hitting us during this retrograde so we could kind of make wise decisions as to how we're going to react to this. Give me guidance about belonging to your own dream for my Scorpios for July. The hangman in reverse, being unhinged, the ace of pentacles, and the two of swords. So this is basically what it's saying. It's saying you, you've you already kind of like got yourself out of like confined thinking in regards to that situation. Like you've already got yourself down out of that situation and now you're literally laying here in your own days and your own dreamland belonging to your own reality to your own dream you're creating what you want your life to be you know what i'm saying you're not letting nobody else in their bullshit determine your happiness no more like you're sitting there in the, in, in in the meadows around flowers like manifesting about new beginnings you know and this ace of pinnacle right here represents just like not solid foundations and that's based off of you know mental not not being able to make a mental clear decision on which direction that you want to go in and so what i want to say in regards to that is it's like you've already unhinged yourself from dealing with this situation and right now you are creating your own life and you belong to your own dream like don't slow down the process to your new beginnings and allow yourself to get tangled back up in a situation where you blind and you can't see where you're going and you are being influenced by the moon do you understand what i'm saying secrets illusions fairy tales 
Don't do that. Look at this motherfucker. Look at the moon. Mm -mm. Don't do it. Don't do it. Belong to your own dream. Continue. Just continue cleansing and detoxifying. Like, I mean, I don't know, but we're going to see. Let's see. Give me guidance here. Give me guidance here in regards to over here. This um, King of Wands with this judgment and this Five of Swords. Give me guidance over here. Give me guidance. This person coming back wanting to know why we just ended things. And oh gosh, this is a lot. The Three of Diamonds. There's nothing left but hay now. This person comes back and they're like really trying to assess the what's left of the situation. You know, like if there's anything left to salvage. And what is this? The Seven of Hearts. And like I said, they're being judged. They're being judged. The Nine of Diamonds. Yeah. Mm hmm. So listen, this person, like I said, is coming back to see what is left, what is left in the situation. And like I said, you got that three. So there's also third party involvement. Don't forget that that seven of hearts that is like judging the hearts character, judging true emotion, trying to see if there's still balance, if there's still harmony, you know, like contemplation you know trying to see if y'all can come to some type of understanding about the situation that nine of diamonds that's like making decisions before you close a cycle for eternity you understand and that says on one side will make you grow taller the other side will make you grow shorter so again just like this king of wands had to temper their self and make decisions on how they were going to grow or what they were going to do with their life to determine how they were going to move forward. This person is coming back asking us for judgment. Like, are you going to allow me back in your life? And then this is where Scorpio is going to be sitting here. You know, like this one says, it says silence in the court. It's time for you to make decisions of the heart and not only to assess your resources what you have and if you're willing to give it if you're willing to share it if you're willing to compromise it after everything that is done hmm Woo! two of spades it don't look like it it looks like this situation is going to go left <laughs> it says you are nothing but a pack of cards this represents like a spike in temper, someone being angered to violence, <laughs> to violence, to violence, to violence. And it's like, what is this right here? The nine of spades. Oh, Jesus. The hand round plum cake monster. Dear Jesus. The nine of spades, like. This is disappointment. This is being let down. This is accepting defeat, you know, if you will. Like, what is this? The four of hearts, but yet this person is still, like, they're adamant. They're adamant. Ooh. They're adamant. They're like, please, like, this four hearts. This person is professing their love to you and still here, Scorpio, with this ace of spades. Like, I don't want anything to do with you. Like, and it says, who am I? I will remember if I can. It's like, This situation with this person, where they're coming back to see what's left, coming back for forgiveness, coming back to see if this person will allow them back into their life no more. Like I said, Scorpio has cleansed and detoxified, 
Scorpio is in their own dreamland, and it's like I don't, I don't see. And, and then you got the Queen, of, um, the King of Diamonds right here. The King of Diamonds. It says the horror of that moment I shall never forget. Listen, this person is like, please, please. See, I'm sending that communication. Like, please, like, just talk to me. Just hear me out. Like, I've changed. The person is like, no. You bought me nothing but despair. You bought me nothing but problems. You know, ain't nothing but secrets and <laughs> no, no. The horror of that moment. It's like it was a horrible experience with this person. It was a horrible experience with this person. Let me clarify some. Okay. Hold on, you guys. Okay, my daughter done stole my phone. It's okay, because I was still hers. I just want to clarify real quick some of these cards. I just want to clarify real quick some of these cards. So, this three of diamonds right here. The three of diamonds represents a small sum of money, a payment, financial growth, partial success, partial effort, part-time work, scattered energy, on again, off again. Press servants is needed, a lack of focus or commitment in a relationship. In the reading, it shows fickleness and changeability. So like I said, third party, someone coming back to see what's left. Being half-assed about it, not being able to fully commit because there's other things going on there in that situation. Come on now. Let's see. Let's jump right here to the nine of diamonds. The nine of diamonds represents extra money, a check, a bonus, the brain, mental energy, psychic ability, imagination, electricity, um, electromagnetic energy, other people's wishes and desires that affect that affect and influence you fame celebrity public office bureaucracy um red tape when surrounded by unfavorable cards so okay and then let's go right here yeah like being given something being given something that is going to challenge your brain and it's going to make you decide to like to make diplomatic moves. Like I said, what side do you want? You know, being given something where you're having to make choices. The seven of hearts. Peaceful surroundings, healing, steady improvement, happy surprises, the cycle of life, a second chance, the opportunity to redo something. Things that come in twos. I told you. This person is coming back to see if they can get a second chance. To see if they can assess the situation and see if there's anything there left. To see what decision you're going to make. They're going to come back and offer you their time. They want the ability to speak with you again and to see if you're going to choose the side to grow taller or the side to Grow smaller. What are you going to do? But Scorpio says you're nothing but a pack of cards. And then handed a plum cake to the monster. So you're nothing but a pack of cards. And it looks like I'm tired of feeding the monster here. I'm tired of feeding the monster. Scorpio felt like they fed a monster. They created a monster. The two of spades. Traditionally, a card of conflict, disagreement, betrayal, argument, anger, resentment, holding a grudge, vindictiveness, violence, bad news, a removal, a separation, something sharp, pointed, teeth, ice. Don't bite nobody, Scorpio. Damn. So let me stop. It's like whatever. It's like this person is going to come and try to like say what in it, 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 it's like. Scorpio's like, get this shit out of here. The nine of spades 
traditionally represents a card of sadness, adversity, failure, suffering, emotional, physical pain, grief, malice. This is a very unfavorable card. It forebodies tragic events, including accidents, serious injuries, serious illness, self-injury, um, a harm to oneself or another, feeling pressure or forced to do something. It can indicate a loss of control, a breakdown of established patterns. It could represent disappointment or broken heart karmic debts obligations and duty to self and others so it's like number one this person is going to come to scorpio explaining and explaining why they did certain things wanting to know why you did certain things letting you know what resulted out of certain things so there's going to be a lot of truth spilling coming out on the table here and it needed to happen because you guys needed to clear the air and detoxify and like air certain things out. But the reality of the situation for Scorpio is it's going to bring them to anger. Like whatever. You, and you know, you could go zero to 100 real quick with a Scorpio. You know, and I feel like it's going to be like tearing open an old wound for Scorpio. And Scorpio is going to be like, you're nothing but a deck of, you're nothing but a pack of cards. Like, I'm tired of feeding this monster. I don't want nothing to do with you. You know, they feel like to continue to be in a situation like this would be self-harming to Scorpio. You understand? So, it's like, what side of the mushroom are you going to eat are you going to grow taller or smaller scorpio has already grown do you understand what i'm saying these cards when when this person is coming to scorpio is nothing but red after this communication everything goes black <clears throat> you see what i'm saying spades spades are not good cards do you understand but this person is in love with scorpio i mean this person loves Scorpio, loves Scorpio. And I don't think that this person is coming to Scorpio with no malice and no ill heart. It's just, it's just a fucked up situation. You know what I'm saying? Just the way things went down, it was like fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And it just is what the fuck it is. And y'all are just having to deal with the cards that have just been dealt to y'all in this situation right here and this four hearts represents emotional stability partnership marriage four posts of a marriage bed physical union sexual contact relationships between two people the return of a lover mending of a broken friendship party having fun a bed a sofa a comfortable chair so not only just this per this person and it says from the queen invitations for the duchess to play croquette so it's like this person is going to keep communicating with you because they know that what they had with you was emotional stability, that they had everything. You know what I'm saying? But apparently, if they're coming back asking for forgiveness and wanting to find justice and balance of the situation after everything was said and done, and clearly they did something to fuck something up. The Ace of Spades traditionally is the death card. But it doesn't denote physical death. Death and rebirth. An ending and a new beginning. Transformation. A major life change. The skull. The mind. Important decisions that bring change. Worry and anxiety. In this situation is like. Scorpio is like I already ended this shit with you before. I already did this shit. And as you can see, Scorpio is looking like they're having to protect themselves. They're protecting themselves because this person really betrayed and hurt Scorpio. For them to be reacting like this. Like, come on. This person really fucked Scorpio over. They felt like they created a monster. And you already know how Scorpio is. Like, they will love you so much. And they will give you so many chances. And for Scorpio to come out here like this at the end. To say the horror of that moment I shall never forget. Listen. This person really betrayed and hurt Scorpio. And I don't. I feel like there's going to be 
a resolution, a closing of this chapter so it can be cleansed and detoxified out of Scorpio's life. Y'all are going to address each other, but I definitely don't see Scorpio um, engaging with this person. I don't. They're ending it. They, it's ended for good. The complete closing of a cycle. The King of Diamonds is an intelligent, a dynamic, a professional man. A restless, an energetic. There's usually money around him. He may be a wealthy politician, an accountant, an executive, a real estate broker, a CPA, investment banker, a government official. He takes great pride in his professional persona. If he's not careful, he could become consumed by his work and neglect other areas of his life okay so yeah with all of that being said and done scorpio still don't want this person like no no they're not going to go back in a place where you know things are not growing for them things are not going for them in the right direction because they hung up on some bullshit with someone where there's a whole bunch of secrets, a whole bunch of drama, someone coming to them with baggage. It's still some shit going on with this person that you don't see and you're going to be stuck in a crossroads making a decision. I could just make an easy decision and just not fuck with you because I remember the horror of the last situation it was. No. Death card. No. And protecting yourself. No. Scorpio's like, no. Not going to keep feeding this beast. Lord Jesus, this gonna be long, y'all. I'm sorry, this video gonna be long. We still got what? Two more decks to do. Two more decks after this one. Cause I'm just like, cause like in the beginning, I was just like, no, bro. Like what? Like what is this just saying up here? All right, give me guidance. Whoa, don't burn my fucking car, shit. <laughs> Yeah, this, this, listen, Scorpio is grounded. Scorpio is not changing their mind about the situation. They left, you dead, and you're going to stay dead. They got peace in their life right now, and they are firm, and they're standing tall and strong in their decision that they made. They're not budging on the decision. They've cleansed, and they've detoxified. Listen, they are living in their own dream world right now. Scorpio is in peace. You shall not come and disturb my peace. I promise you, you won't. You will not bring no baggage to me. You will not bring no fuck shit to me. Like, as you can see, <laughs> Scorpio not going for it. Look, fool me once. Shame on you, motherfucker. Won't be no twice. You ain't going to keep fucking playing with me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Scorpio says you're not going to keep playing. Listen, you play. Look, don't play me. Play lotto, motherfucker. Don't play me, play lotto, motherfucker, because you thinking you playing me. You playing yourself, baby boy. You was playing yourself big time. You understand? Let's see what this says, because that means a lot of peace and harmony to me. Okay? This says offering comfort, healing, and caring. Yes. For a broken wing or broken spirit, the healing process begins with the bond of care and comfort. Let the calm words or gentle touch offer assurance that you are there and that you are not alone. A pure white dove is held in a nurturing manner by a caring woman dressed in deep, vibrant red. The red of her clothing and her headdress brings to the mind of the color of the first chakra. The chakra that is associated associated with self-preservation. All right. So like I said, you guys are rooted. You guys are grounded in where you stand in the situation with this person. You guys have peace in your life and you're not going to let anybody come and disturb your peace. Let's clarify. What can Scorpio expect in the... Because it looks like this had to be addressed and cleansed for good. Like... Because this is someone that the retrograde is bringing back to you guys because the chapter wasn't closed. This chapter is closed. You guys, y'all shall not be moved. And y'all are not allowing y'all peace to be disturbed. We got the lady. We got the garden. That's communication. And then we got the clock tower right there. All right. So, that's and, and you know what? You're grown. You're the lady. 
you're a grown woman. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're the grown woman. And then also, they go that Ace of Spades again. They go that Death card. There we go. Scorpio. Scorp, Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio. Ain't you a bad bitch, too? Hey, listen. You grown. You are grown. You are spiritually um, inclined. You know exactly what you want. You have cleansed and detoxified and you have purified your life for a reason so that you could grow in the correct way now. The garden. That means communication. That means meetup. That means networking. Go out there and network and stuff like that. And just have standards. And just know that, you know, time is of the essence and you have the, the, the structure in your life that you need. You're able to make balanced decisions do you understand what i'm saying that's that's what i feel that means the cross i feel like everything that happened in this situation was fate and it was destiny even though it was a hard cross to bear for you to go through this it happened for a reason to create structure to create standard so that you will not waste your time with people that are not deserving of your beautiful essence all right go out there and please communicate please network get to know other people get to know other people spread your love and let them see the beautiful lady that you are and for my scorpio men so that you can attract a beautiful lady everything that happened in this situation it happened for a reason it was fake because if this wouldn't have happened you wouldn't be who you are today you wouldn't be who you are today and what is this saying it just flew out a transformation oh my goodness your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transfers all and transforms all things hmm. now for some of y'all the shit might make it deeper because i'm trying to tell y'all this person is not going to stop you're going to shut this person down but i'm telling you this person is not going to stop your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers all and transforms all things. Maybe, you know, throughout this situation, you might be able to at least find balance. Oh, shit. Then it says sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one another's eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Again, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Have you ever had sex with somebody where y'all feel like, oof, let me shut up, honey. Let me shut up. Let me get y'all one more card in love, and then I got to get the his up out of here. All right. Let me give you one more card, Scorpio, and then we gone. All right. Give me one more card in regards to this transformation and this sexual union for love for Scorpio, please. Give me guidance. What is it saying? Ooh. Yeah, you're definitely going to be expressing romantic feelings. Give me, what is this? Attraction. Mm-hmm. Make an effort. It says great worth. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided. But this came out in the reverse. So this is someone that you got romantic feelings and attraction for but you're not sure if you want to make an effort you guys mm, one more card one more card one more card for my scorpios in love july oh but it's gonna result in engagement you ain't sure if you want to make an effort but this shit gonna result in engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level mm. with who let's find out and i'm rushing because i gotta go <laughs> give me god oh Community. Community. What the fuck? How honor. This is someone. This is someone. You gonna meet this person online. You gonna it's, it's like it's like gonna be a lot of online communication with whoever this is. The house. This person wants to acknowledge you and put you in high honor wants to have this house this commun this commitment with you pathway i feel like they want to find a pathway back into this home unexpected income i feel like this is going to be something unexpected to you this is going to be something unexpected to you 
And then the Ten of Diamonds just came out. This says, my name means the shape that I am and a good, handsome shape that I am too. Yeah, I feel like with one situation fall down, another one is developed. Okay? Because ten represents the endings. The ending of one situation is going to blossom another one. It's going to be an unexpected. This person's going to find that pathway to you. They're going to get in this house. They are going to give you that high honor, respect, and it's going to be broadcasted to the community, you guys. And it's going to be everything that you've been reaching for. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're going to be shaking hands with someone. So pay attention to new people that you meet. All right, Scorpio, I'm out.